should you get a computer science degree in the year 2025? That's a big question and it's a really hard one to answer because everyone's talking about how computer science students are cooked, the job fairs are overrun, no one can get a job and everyone's getting laid off and everyone's worried about the robot apocalypse with like AI getting better and better. But I wanna take this video to talk about what I think is a good idea when it comes to getting a degree in computer science, whether you should or not. But uh, I won't, I'll leave that till the end of the video because I need to color the picture a little bit about how I understand this field and whether or not the degree is even worth it anymore. First off, before I dive into it, I kind of want to like establish who I am and why I think I can talk about this subject. I got a computer science degree a long time ago in 2008. I've been working in this, as a professional software engineer for about 15 years now, and I've been freelancing uh, full time for the past four or five years, and also like using AI and been focused on trying to help and mentor people over the past couple of years. So I'm very in tune with what is going on in the industry. So first off, let's talk. Let's ask like, what is so scary about 2025? And I think everyone knows that like AI is is threatening to take over um, every everyone's jobs and Mark Zuckerberg's talking about how in 2025 all you know that they will have some AI that can code just like a mid-level developer and I completely understand the fear around that I've been using AI for my work and it's made me better and faster and being able to do more but the thing is it like I don't think we're anywhere close to like it taking over real computer or taking over real development work there's a lot of reasons behind that but my day-to-day -day and everything I've seen, as far as all the clients and businesses I've worked with, it's not gonna take over any jobs. It's just gonna help people code faster and do better. Now, I'm gonna talk more about AI in, the, in some later videos, but for right now, I'm gonna put that to the side and say that I'm not too worried about it. Now, let's talk about computer science and what a computer science degree actually gives you. Now, I fell into this trap, and I think everyone my age has also fallen into this trap, is where you are told that you get a job, no, you get a degree, and you get a good job. And computer science was like a very lucrative path where you can get that job and go into the emerging tech. Like right after the dot-com bub bubble, everyone was ramping up, and tech was getting better and better, so a computer science degree would make more money, right? But the problem with that trap is that everyone is putting college and a degree as like a jobs training program. And it's not that at all. I think it's very important to understand that when you go into school and you're getting a computer science degree, for example, you are learning the foundation, the fundamentals, so that you can be trained at a job. Not necessarily that you can do the job, that you can be trained. People who have computer science degrees aren't all developers. They're not all web developers. There's a bunch of things you can do with it. You can do embedded programming. You can be a product manager. You can be even a designer for sort of different areas of, of the software development life cycle. There's a bunch of ways that you can leverage that knowledge to branch off into different industries. Now, I, want, I just wanna make that super clear is that a computer science degree is the foundation of knowledge that allows you to grow into a role that uh, that hopefully will pay off in the long run. It's not training you for a job. So then that begs the question, right? The, the question that we all have to ask ourselves is like, well, why, why do you want it? Now, a lot of people just say, I want a computer science degree and I want to get into a big tech company and make a half a million dollars a year. Now, there's nothing wrong with that goal. There's nothing wrong with that idea, but you have to understand why you're doing it. So if the idea of like getting a degree to get that job, you're going uh, the the focus shouldn't be just on the degree. It should be the whole package of like learning the skills and getting into the industry. Now, some people will say, well, there's, you know, there's self-taught developers out there. There's people that have boot camp degrees that are able to get into these big companies and make a lot of money. Uh, yes, yes, but that's like survivorship bias. Like the people that have done that is great, but there is a graveyard of people that have tried that path and completely failed. A computer science degree is something that can help you in the path to get that job. It provides you the right skills and structure. And it's also the biggest thing about a computer science degree is it is a third party institution that can sign off on a degree and say, this person has learned these skills, these principles, these foundational like principles of this topic. I can say that they've learned that. If you're self-taught, you gotta figure that out on your own. You gotta find someone that can vouch for you, whether that's an employer, an internship or whatever, but that's what a degree is. A degree allows 
someone, an institution has said, they've gone through all the coursework, they've done all this, and I can prove that they at least have some knowledge of these topics. So I kind of want to focus on like what jobs want, because that's mostly what people click on sort of these videos for, is they want to get a job, they want to get into it, and they also maybe want to know whether it's still worth it. The question of like what jobs want is especially as a very junior, like a first year out of, uh, out of college, they want someone that is able to be trained for the job. The person that jumps into a job for their very first year, they will be a burden for the rest of the team. I know that sounds harsh, but it's the truth. Like you're gonna have to help build that person up so that they can be a better and more contributing person and understanding everything about that part of the job coding, teamwork, um, structuring production code and deploying it in a production atmosphere, that's not taught in school. That, those are the things that you have to learn about the business and about like uh, professional like engineering disciplines. It's an entirely different thing and you will have to learn that on, on the job. So jobs want, the, uh, the, want to see that you have the ability to do the work, but also be able to learn into the role and how it, incorporates into a business, right? Now, so one of the biggest things I wanna talk about, and it's something that I feel very passionately about, is the financials of whether or not it's worth getting a degree. Now, a lot of people uh, have a hard time. Now, I personally never thought about the financials going in to getting a college degree, and I borrowed until my eyes bled, and I walked out with about $100,000 worth of student loan debt, and I was mad for many years, but that's on me. You know, I borrowed too much. As far as the cost of a degree and whether there's a, a, an ROI positive, that in the long run, I think I think all the studies say yes. The tuition and the average cost of like getting a degree, it's been pretty stable over the past year or two. Between last year and this year, it's been pretty stable. It's still very expensive and it's something that you really have to consider investing in and committing to. It's not something that you just walk into and just kind of float through. That's a mistake. You want to like get your what your money is, <laughs> you want to get what you pay for, right? You want to really dive in and commit. So that being said, if you decide to commit, I think it's very important that also you know the path out. It's very important to have the financials in mind of like it will cost this, but you also want to know how you will get out of that debt if you have to borrow or if you're able to take uh, a gift or a present from a family member that is able to help you pay for college. It's not for everyone. I mean, know how you're gonna get out of debt after taking on that kind of investment. It's very important to have the path to and the path out planned so that you don't find yourself 10, 15 years in like enormous amounts of debt because uh, just a little bit of planning could have prevented a lot of it. So given everything I said, Everything that I was considering about how the current market is, with, with, about all the scaries on the timeline with AI and the sort of like problems that uh, may prevent people from getting a job, I think if the financials are right for you, if, if it's personally a, like an achievable thing for you to go and take out money or be able to spend the money to get a college degree, I think it is absolutely worth it. Not only is a computer science degree giving you a foundation of how the, the science behind computers and how they're built and how like code runs, that will help you through the rest of your life. And also, and also I wanna to speak to the job market, especially in 2025, is we've just, we are coming off of a huge amount of layoffs over the past couple of years and that the industry is super tight. There's so many people going in to like get a job as a web developer with a computer science degree, I think it is absolutely worth having a degree in this situation of 2025 because when there's a lot of people banging on the door to try to get these jobs, if you are the one that has a degree, then they can filter everyone else that doesn't have a degree easily through HR and you are one step closer to actually having that job and you will have the foundational knowledge to get past the, the certain hurdles to get that job in the first place. You, as I mentioned earlier, a degree is sitting there telling you that a third party said he or she has done all this work and knows the foundational information of computer science and is able to be trained in this job. That gets you a lot further 
than you trying to having to establish that you know the material on your own. A third party university telling you that they've done it, you have this piece of paper, that's gonna help you in the job market. So at when the job market's this tight, you need every advantage that you can get. So that being said, yes, I still think it's worth it. Uh, the price, the, the cost is definitely a factor. You need, to, you need to think about that. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and stick around. I'll see you in the next video, but you will also like this video if you're interested. And also don't hesitate to put a comment down below and tell me what you're kind of curious about, what you're worried about in this industry. I love talking and responding to like pretty much every single comment. So go ahead and say hi and I'll say hi back and we'll start up a conversation and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya, thanks.